All right, how's it going, everybody? I'm here with Lionheart, Game Freak, and Aaron. Everyone, say hi. This is the Hello. pre. This is the premeditated podcast. <laughs> Lion <laughs> already, yeah. already. You're, you're jumping in. You're jumping. You're. Your guns to the walls right now, <laughs> bro. That's how we do it here. The podcast. We yeah, don't really, we, we, do. we don't really have a we're title for this yet. Right no, what should we? What should we name this first podcast? What should we? Or just a podcast in general? What should we name it? Should we? Should we, should we name it Scraps? Scraps, premeditated scraps. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's an idea. Premeditated it sounded, scraps. I think it sounded better in my I head than it actually one. did. You know, sitting it or, or written down somewhere, <laughs> right? Everything just sounds so much better when it's just written down, right? Okay. And then you think you can't get it back, you can't catch it, you know. I know, sucks, bro. It sucks. It's whatever. So we we were supposed to have a guest. What happened then? Something some come so up. So last minute, last minute he had pulled out, which is completely acceptable. You know, yeah. life happens first, and <clears throat> you know that's completely understanding. And uh, so we're going to postpone our special guest that we were supposed to have for tonight and reschedule at a later date. So, That's totally you know, fine. Totally we'll fine. get a date going and uh, we'll have him on. Sounds good. Sounds good. That'll be great. So uh, how's everyone doing? <laughs> how's, Fantastic. How's everyone How are you, doing? sir? Uh, I'm I am. I'm hungry. We need a talking stick, so so we're all not talking at once. I know there's a lot of chit chatter right now in here, but should we like take the talking stick and, and say like I'm going first or? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm I'm just asking You're everyone's doing so far, first. and we'll we'll go from there. I got some questions here. All right, let's get started with some questions. Yeah. There's, so like a hot take, we're hot taking, right? So we're just boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this one, this one is from my Instagram post that I posted uh, from Z Heaths, one of my friends that I play video games on there. Uh, her first question is: favorite game of all time? Oh yeah, favorite game of all time. Who's first though? Who wants to go first? You know, we should go by alphabetical <laughs> order. I think Aaron should go first. Woo! <laughs> Put me on the spot. All time. All yeah, time. favorite game of all time. What is your favorite game of all time? No stipulations. Any system, any game yep. ever. Any any game, any system that you general, played it on. Overall favorite favorite game. Favorite game of all time. I don't, I don't think you're limited to to a certain console. I think you know it's whatever your favorite game would be or could be. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go <laughs> throw back the original Zelda on Game Boy oh. or. Or is a toss up. Super Nintendo. Ah, <laughs> oh, the old schools. Damn. Donkey Donkey Kong Country or Super Mario World. Oh, without that. Or that Super Mario good. Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Was the good. first one where you could ride Yoshi. <laughs> the first one to ride Yoshi. <laughs> Everybody be riding Yoshi. <laughs> You had to you had to get like the uh, to like the third level and then go into the room off to the left. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Your lives. Damn, that's some old school games right there. Okay, okay. Uh, wait. So Game Freak is that is that eyes in your name or? They are eyes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause I have I have I am and you have I I. So I think I think technically you're you're next. So favorite uh, game of all time. You know, as much as I love like retro games, it has started me off with video games. I'm with a toss up, but like I'm just gonna have to go with Halo. Like it's in the series, oh. but Halo One holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and we break this down into categories. <clears throat> Halo, like yeah. the very very first yeah, one, like, Combat, Combat of all. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, have you have you played the uh, the remastered yes. one on PC? I, 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 I played that because uh, my uncle. Because ever since I stopped, I got a PS4 instead of an Xbox One. Mm -hmm. My uncle bought the Xbox Pro, whatever the uh, the newer version is called. He gave me his old, one, which allowed me. I bought like the subscription and let me play 
the Master Chief Collection. Really enjoyed playing it all. Not bad. Okay, well, <clears throat> for me, my most favorite game of all time is a uh, it's a Kevin is uh, <clears throat> most recent actually uh, Spider Man PS4 like the brand new one that came out. <laughs> Talking about that all the time. Bruh, man, the game is so fun. <laughs> uh, the the aesthetics is fun. I got a mail. Why are you popping up? Uh, friggin' the the, the like stuff. Everything in general is just fun. The the web swinging. They got hands down. Like it's so fluid. I love it. And uh, I'm thinking of trying to finish my new game plus. Maybe I'll stream that one when my Elgato comes in. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, Lion. How about you? Favorite game of all time. Favorite game of all time. Tough. But I think I'm going to go with uh, with Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, 2007. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a big Call of Duty guy um, <clears throat> when I'm sober. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, sober. You know, it was the first first game I really, really got into on the PC. And I fell in love with it immediately. Fell in love with it. Fell in love with the mechanics. You know, it was new to use the keyboard. I always been on a controller, but you know, it was very, very fun. And so I, I definitely have to go with that one. Oh, and I want to go back and play that. Damn. Good old Call of Duty days, bro. I miss it. Yeah. Not yeah, man. Lie. Even now, um, it's fun. Oh yeah, the new the Warzone where. <laughs> Yeah, the we're playing on. plunder. <laughs> we just keep respawning, yeah. and uh, you know it's fun. You get, a, you get a good group of guys together, and and it's all about you know friendships and you know <clears throat> just having a fun time in general. And oh, so yeah. that's what it, you know. Warzone is one of those games where it's stressful, but at the same time you're having fun also. Mm -hmm. Oh man, gaming, gaming, right? Am I right? Gaming. Gaming, fucking gaming. Yo, can we just can we... No, go ahead. Let's go... Let me go back to uh, what you said on your Spider-Man game that you, you love. You are a huge Spider-Man <laughs> person, aren't you? Oh, I, I definitely you're, am. You're, I you're a straight fangirling of Spider-Man. Yo, if somebody came into my room right now dressed up as Spider-Man, I would just be like, Oh my god, Spider-Man! Even though I know it's like totally some random guy in a costume, I would just go, Spider-Man. Would you hug him? What? Would you hug him? Yo, I would, I would like, jump in his arms and let him carry me away. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, like, I already told you guys this, but I don't know if my viewers or our viewers know about this, but when they announced Spider-Man for PS4, like, just, like, a brand new game, first thing I did was go and see if they had the collector's uh, edition in for, like, pre-order over at GameStop near me, and they're like, yeah, I'm like, all right. I'm going to just place a pre-order for that and slowly, like, pay off all the pre-ordered oh, stuff right. before it releases. Oh, yeah, the next it. day, they're like, oh, by the way, oh, here's a PS4 for Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm like, bruh! <laughs> and you want to know what I did? I was like, can I add add, add my uh, pre-order to that as well? <laughs> so now I'm sitting know. here with the PlayStation and, and the game, and, oh, man, this the collector's edition came with a statue and it's just spider-man just posed up on all like his villains and stuff and it's just oh such a beautiful statue don't think i'll ever get rid of it <laughs> nah man when you like something you like something you like it to the extent oh yeah definitely like i know a lot of a lot of people you know like certain things for you would be spider-man um speaking of you know liking certain things um Aaron, what what do you like outside of video games? Like, what do you, what is your hobby outside of playing, you know, the video games or in any kind of virtual realm? What is it that you like to do? Oh, I mean, it'd be hang out with my kids. That'd be my biggest thing, to be honest. Okay. Fun. Um, we like to uh, like to go fishing, spend time outdoors, camp, awesome. hike. Nature's my thing. Damn. Fuck this Next quarantine. <laughs> what was Chris. that? I said next up on the list would be you, Chris. 
me outside of out yeah so outside, outside of, of gaming the gaming what is it that you like to do to, to pass time if the gaming's not there for you to do if gaming is not here for me to do my favorite pastime would have to be dance i'm not yeah. gonna lie to you yeah no i love dancing too That's um awesome. when i was when i was younger my uh my cousin she uh, had a, like a little dance group with her with her friends and stuff like that and they would do like choreography and stuff and like the first move that she taught me was actually the moonwalk <laughs> So so you can moonwalk. I can moonwalk. I would do it right now, but my cam's off and I have carpet yeah. all in my Clips room. Are not real. <laughs> Clips are it's not real. <laughs> we'll see we'll find out. We'll fi maybe maybe I'll do a TikTok video and share it to you guys. <laughs> that should be uh our opening do not intro. Me with a great time. Because <laughs> I'm but, gonna uh, take a time. But yeah, ever ever since then, like I just wanted to you know learn more about dance. Um, I got into hip hop. I got into like um popping locking i got into breaking here and there like i'm not the greatest at it because like now i'm just rusty and haven't done it but i love dancing dance is fun um i was actually in multiple dance crews back in my elementary high school days <laughs> and i think you can chew with right now and uh and then one year in college i was in a dance group i was actually uh vice president for that one that was pretty fun that is yeah. that is really awesome Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm still talking to one of my one of my best buds that I was in a dance crew with and um, performed back in elementary school as well. You know uh, the Soldier Boy dance. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. love talking about this one. This one's amazing. So, so back in elementary, I think I was like grade seven. I was, and he was in grade eight. Uh, there was a talent show coming up, and and um, we were like, "Yo, we should we should do something." And the Soldier Boy dance was big back at that time. So <laughs> we had no practice at all, but we just knew the dance. So we just winged it the whole time. And for rehearsals with like the two teachers that were uh, that were hosting it, <laughs> they would jump on when we rehearsed and dance with us the Soldier Boy dance. <laughs> one of them was pregnant, the other one wasn't. But you would see them behind us while we were rehearsing. Just <laughs> copying the moves that we were doing, <laughs> and then so for the actual show, they they would do the same thing, and everyone was like, like so excited, so happy to see like <laughs> two teachers and the two students just dancing, and it was it was wild, bro. I miss those days, man. I miss being a kid, <laughs> bro. So long ago, man. Days gone. Oh, I miss being outside. Actually, that's I miss being outside. Right? Yeah. Oh, bro. No, I've I need my tan. My Filipino <laughs> skin needs to be darker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tan super super easily out in the sun, bro. Like not even five minutes in, I'll be like already taking up that tanned look. I'm like, oh man. I need to post a picture of me from last summer. Oh no! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Nothing like that, man. Nothing like. That. Do you guys tan at all? Like, do you guys get sunburn or anything like that? I yeah, moved yeah all last I tan more than I do sunburn, which is <laughs> great. Because, you know, when I get the sunburn, it's not it's not a fun time. Oh man, I think. But, uh... I don't normally get sunburns. I think the. One time I really got super burned was back when I was in Cali. And I went to Cali for like a week or two just for visiting family and going on vacation. And oh man, it was brutal out there. <laughs> it's nice. It's I, nice uh... though, don't get me wrong, but then getting sunburned, oh man, I couldn't. I had no one touching my shoulders or anything. It was brutal. <laughs> yeah, sunburn's the worst, but. Um... I I usually tan pretty well. Like, I worked outside all last summer, and uh, I was pretty dark. So I tan pretty easy. Oh man. Tanning. Okay, so I got another question up here. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I had it. I lost where the question was. 
You're off to a great start, gentlemen. Oh, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is this is <laughs> all at the top of my head. Okay. It's a, it's a rough draft. Eventually, we'll, <laughs> we'll get used to it eventually, bro. We just talk here. Um. Uh, this one is from my Discord server from L A O Joe. His question is: If you could create an online game, what would it be like? Oh. Tough I question. Vote Chris goes first. <laughs> I go good? first. <laughs> I vote Chris goes first on okay, this. Okay, I'll one. go first. Um, damn, that it's, it's a tough question. Like, I don't even know how to answer that one. Um, if I could create a game, what would it be like? Um, oh, hold on. Let's let's delve into this. What kind of soundtrack would it have to start you off with, and then you can delve into it from there. Yeah, I, think, I think that I think that kind of opens up. The yeah, that that, that really more. does. Um, so I like I like RPG games, like role playing games. Example: Spider Man or like Skyrim and stuff like that, right? So like maybe, God of War. God of War, yeah, like maybe cinematic kind of music, you know? Like it okay. feels like it feels like you're in a movie, but you're not really in a movie. All you right, know what um, I mean? give me a, give me like a time era. Time of Era. Damn, that, that makes it even... Hmm. We're really, really, like... <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's a question. Like, if you're going to develop a game, you might as well have some backstory to it. Right? Yeah, I... I would choose between... Between, like... Like a Skyrim-esque era, or, like, a very modern or futuristic. I guess between those three. Okay. Like a, yeah, Horizon, Zero like, Dawn, Skyrim, Horizon. And, like, Watch Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Dogs. <laughs> okay. It would be it would maybe maybe even like a like a time lapse like, of like like a futuristic Last of Us. Yeah, basically something like that, or like uh, the new game coming out, Cyberpunk. All oh, right. Oh, tw- twenty seventy seven. Yeah. yeah I've heard so much about it. Like how much detail into customization <laughs> it's like ridiculous i don't even know if they're true or not mm-hmm. but uh yeah so, so something along the lines of that it would be like like a role-playing game basically i would try to make it how about you uh game freak if you were to make a game if i were to make a game yeah um, what would it be know, like you know i would think RPG is kind of hard to think about because there's so much like details you have to play. In. But something similar to <laughs> Halo, sorry, like very simple story. You could probably play co-op, you could change the difficulty. Like I really love that co-op campaigns mm-hmm. as, long, as long as it's done right with multiplayer. Which which brings me back to say you know, why I like Halo so much is because it was such a great game. It had very good stuff to do made it not boring yeah, that was so advanced for its time <laughs> how about you lion if you were to create a game what would it be like tough it is it's really tough um <clears throat> nowadays in or <laughs> if you want people to play your game it's gonna have to be something people like and mm-hmm. so, uh, BR Battle Royale is really, really popular now. <laughs> so it would, it would definitely have to, you know, evolve around some kind of battle royal mode to, you know, some kind of action game. Obviously, um, you know, yeah, I, I, it's it's rough. It's it is rough. The rough question. Yeah. It, it would definitely, you know, have to be some kind of battle royal. I could think that I would create, um, and with you know Fortnite dominating for the past couple of years, and now how is that game so dominating? Lot, I don't understand. <laughs> you get a lot more, you know, companies pushing the BR. You know, it's going to be a competition, but you know, we're going to make a great game if that ever happens. Mm-hmm. One day, one, of these one days. day, one day. You know, we get a lot of uh, exciting music going on. Some music to pump you up. You land, you're like, yo, I want, let's get it. 
you know. <laughs> what are we learning, boys? <laughs> Tilt it down. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like something like that, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, I, that's what I would go with. Some kind of BR game. You know, you drop in, you shoot, you loot, whatever. I can't you know? Same thing like most BR games nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder how long they're gonna last. Like because everyone's doing them. It's just, it just ends up being overpopulated with BR games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, just look at PUBG. Like, what happened to that? Like, not a, like I, I think mean, only people, people still play, but I find more of like the Asian community fully oh, playing yeah. it as much. Like, they play yeah. it hardcore, bro. Like, they just. Oh. You know, you got a lot of a lot of content creators influencing. You know what they play too, so that I think mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. has a factor in games being played and games not being played like of course you know you get a bunch of you know 13 14 year olds you know watching their favorite streamer and their favorite streamer at the moment is it <laughs> <playing> ninja <laughs> warzone. Yeah. you know they're playing warzone you know they're going to be influenced to play warzone you know they're going to go in there that's going to be a popular game mm-hmm. definitely it, it, it's a it's a major influence thing on on what other people play in that, like, kind of breaks down the chains of, of what encourages, you know, younger souls to play. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one. How about you, Aaron? What kind of game you, would you make if you had a chance uh, to? Well, yeah, you got to keep up with the trend. You got to go with the VR compatible. Um, but as far as, like, a gameplay style, it'd be like an RPG walkthrough, probably. Uh, mm-hmm. heavy campaign base like uh, some with like a pick your champion like Warcraft 3 style but like a mix between like turn based play like in Halo Wars uh, Ooh, called, uh, okay I think it's called RTS type game Real something time along strategy. those lines yeah Maybe maybe you set like in an real order. time strategy or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Like a real time strategy uh, multiplayer, but with like a heavy campaign, pick your champion RPG like walkthrough mm-hmm. campaign. Style. I don't know. I quite in, like some kind of Halo Wars. I kind of enjoyed that game as much as like everyone talking about how bad it was. I guess. I, I guess it was a Halo game, like a real. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was different. It was different, but I definitely, I definitely enjoyed it when I had a chance to uh, to play it. It's good, like driving the driving the tanks and everything. Like, it was nice. Oh, that's what I Destiny enjoyed. needs: tanks. 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 Yo, today, no, man. okay, all right. Hear me out. <laughs> Destiny battle royale. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know. <laughs> No abilities. <laughs> game's already toxic enough. <laughs> Just imagine a Destiny <laughs> Battle Royale. Destiny <laughs> Battle Royale. How many players are you going to limit it to? Oh, man. I was going to say, they have issues putting 20 people in the tower. How are they going to make 100 people in a map? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, though. Can you imagine? Just a bunch of, like, floaty warlocks flying everywhere. Oh, my God. I, I really don't think they should do it. I mean, they came <laughs> in, in such a bad right place. Now. Yeah, place. can we? Yeah, can let's, really, talk can just, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Do you want to just try and kill your game? Because if you introduce a battle royale, you're going to kill the game. Recent quest. Like, it's already <laughs> uh, going to be hard for me to come back. Uh, uh, yo, okay, so, so me and Lion and Raven went on to do the quest and, like, there was no blueberries motivated to actually do it. Like I mean, they probably don't even know the tractor can. Interest in an, in another quest that's going to take. At this rate, we're at three percent for EDZ, one percent <clears throat> for the moon, and I think one percent for Isle, if I'm not mistaken. And it's been <laughs> eight hours, nine hours since reset. <laughs> at this rate, <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> Almighty. Just come and kill me, dog. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, uh, Somebody else, stop. Stop. Jeez, you know. The grind you is rough. Sometime next spring. Mm-hmm. Well, it's crazy. I just want to. <laughs> Yo, can Three we just million. get those Dorito chips? Like those Dorito chips already? Like, come on. 
Please. Yeah, me, please. They have like so many things going on with their story. I don't know what to follow now. <laughs> me either, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's it's a good game. And we all come from Destiny. That's how we met. We met through Destiny. Destiny has been our foundation for <clears throat> a long time. Oh yeah. Yeah. And to I'm you know, another thing that we're doing is we want to talk about, you know, the game. And so, you know, at its current state, with Trials being a hack fest oh on PC. God. PC, you know, definitely PC, damn. You know, being a hack fest to the grindage and the hack to get a to get a gun. It's what are we doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I miss those like it's I... gonna be another gun that's gonna be great, okay? You're gonna you're yeah, gonna don't just lie. <laughs> We're get it in a year, which is fine. We'll get it in a year. <laughs> the question's done. People will use it in the Crucible. People and and eventually people will go back to what they're originally using. So a nice gun is, is great. It's like a new pair of shoes, but eventually you're gonna get dirty. Mm -hmm. The mind benders, mind benders. So... The shotgun meta because it could be, it's it's very popular. <clears throat> it could be, but it's not going to be. People are gonna uh, are go back to use what they feel is comfortable. Ugh, I missed the variety, man. Like, variety was great, man. Even in, no, even Destiny One, yeah, you had people using snipers and stuff, but it wasn't just one sniper. It was like multiple different varieties of snipers. Even a shotgun were used, like like. Everything was different, honestly. Like, it was. It was. It was. Really... No, the the Talala lock, whatever the fuck is called for what? <laughs> Tala, yeah, man. I missed that gun. I miss no land. Yo, no land. They should have right, brought that no, back. Instead of uh, instead of fourth horseman, they should have just brought no land. Like, and they bungee. Have a bit already in the game yeah. too with land. With the, yeah, I mean, if I'm being real honest, the only thing that's bringing me back right now is a new raid. And short of that, of it's and that's still in the air because we're nobody knows when the next raid's going to be. I mean. There's a lot of predictions when the fall season is going to be much better, which in this case, for their sake, for the game's sake, I hope so. I really, really do. It was a great game. It is a great game, but unfortunately, everyone is really losing interest in even logging in. I mean, there's no point. Mm -hmm. I 100% yeah. agree. Man. I literally took a weekend off, and I it felt great. Yeah, I locked in today, and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this is cool. This is <laughs> yeah, cool. we did like a couple of set of towers, and we're just like, yeah, okay, out of war zone. Like, you know, three million, or you know, just one, or whatever the numbers are, and it's like, <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Even with a community, you know, a community event, it's 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 rough. Same thing happened. I I talked to uh, Chris about this earlier briefly. How the community had an event last May, and in May or June, it was Escalation Protocol. You know, you need to do this and this and this and that, and you got to get numbers. And it's just, it's it's recycled content again. That's all it is. It's all a number grind, dude. That's all the game is anymore. It's all just reskinned and, and you it's... know, rebundled content. And they're just flip-flop and changing colors, and here you go. It's trash. I have soul. I have soul. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, dude. I mean, my six year old played it. Did it in 23 soul. minutes with two blueberries. I mean, that should tell you about as much about the game as you need to know right now. You yeah, know, it's, it's just somewhere they went wrong. <clears throat> mm hmm. They say they're listening, but it's like, are you really though? Like, how many? If you were really listening, oh, why no, can't we get patches to this stuff? Like hard light got patched. They finally uh, bringing adept weapons back in trials because nobody was playing trials. Their numbers are way low right now. Mm -hmm. And that's not just because of the grind or, you know, the token grind that they're doing, but there's no. What do you, you you get the weapons, you get the armor. What's the point of doing it anymore? There isn't any point. Saying, so if you bring back a depth weapons, you know, you get you can find for those, but it needs to be a lower chance of it to drop or a lower chance of it happening. Then That's you can't just be like, okay, you get seven wins, here's your weapon. You need to make it to a point where it's like uh one in fifty, you know, 
drop rate or something, you know, make people play the game to, to grind for that. Not just, okay, here's three wins. Let me give you the shotgun. Here's three wins. Let me give it a cloak. They're handing free stuff to three wins and, and they're token grinding and bringing the game to a standstill where it's just another control match or it's another quick play match. Mm -hmm. It's fucking terrible. I mean, I'd be happy with Cloak being at three wins so I can finally get that flawless title, but you know. Well, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying it's three wins, but you know, it, it could be. Hey, you know. Man, I'm waiting, hoping this weekend it's three wins. Oh my god, if it is. You know, so, Chris, Chris, you play Trials game, free play Trials. Yo. Um, so, when you get your flawless title, if you don't already have it, are you still going to pursue Trials on the weekends? Probably not. No, nope. like, maybe point, right? just maybe just run, get the three win, and try to get token farming to get some token good farm. weapons. But other than that, we end up the people token farming. That's the issue. Yeah, with those and people. It's, it's horrible. But I'd probably end up being like that, or just never touch trials after I get my title. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's what that's what they did. They, in my opinion, they rushed it. They rushed trials. They, they shouldn't was, even change it in general. Into the story. They didn't think too much about it. No, no, exactly. It was a speed bump in the story to prolong the the original story of I don't even know what it is anymore. Dorito chips? Um, <laughs> gall? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't. What is the Dorito story? chips story anymore? Oh, the story they want is just whatever the inevitable threat is at the moment. It's just like. <laughs> They want the in the moment type threats instead of just like. But apparently they got two going on. They got the, the fucking Dorito chips coming, and then they have Almighty coming, which is more dangerous. <laughs> They're trying to tell two stories at once, which is not. You know, and it, mm -hmm. it's horrible because they keep you know they're, they're distracting. Okay, so we have the Almighty coming to the tower to destroy whatever it is that it's going to destroy. But instead of you know focusing on the story and giving us some more insights on the story, we're gonna host. A guardian Olympic, games, yeah, an Olympic game for the guardians, actually, aka Titan Games, and uh, we're, we're gonna do that for a couple <laughs> weeks. This way, we can figure out what we need to do. Oh, it's crazy, man. man. It, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I give them props for for coming this far, but especially you know, with no resources or little resources. Yeah, I mean, especially you know, splitting with Activision. You know, but I think that was for the better. I'm not going to jump into that. I agree. <sighs> it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I agree with that statement as long as they're acquiring small studios. Yeah. With all the fucking money that they're accruing. Agreed. You know, in a way... Because, like, if you're going to charge these prices for skins and an already reskinned game you need to be buying up little small time developers and using them to the best of your advantage it's not even their fault that we're buying the skins it's our fault we're like oh this looks oh, nice and and the and buy this one. i understand that i mean the reason we're doing it is to support the game and hope that yeah, they're absolutely. doing exactly what i'm saying absolutely I mean, that's my vision in backing Bungie and putting all this money into Bungie for the last five years. Mm-hmm. They need, they need help. What about the power just... What? What is, it, what is the point of the power grind? Nothing. Right now, there's nothing. Right. Once you hit <laughs> 960, it's over. So it well, I mean, you could hit 1025... Do the Grandmaster and get nothing out of it. And just get a title for doing all of it. 2000. Yeah, 2000. And it'll still. Which you can. Go ahead. It's literally a thing to. It's like. I don't even know how to put it. Oh, man. You can do it in one week, the last week of the season, a week or two of the season. Like. That's how I'm little like emphasis that they put on to it. Fire the power. What's that? The uh, the power kind. They capped it at trials, right? They capped it there. They capped it at Iron Banner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They they turned off the uh, the artifact for trials oh, and banana. And I mean, <clears throat> matters in would be 
Grandmaster. Other than yeah. that, you can go in at you can go in at seven fifty and do the same damage as somebody's going in as a thousand fifty in Iron Banner in Trials. Yeah, and I mean, so what's what's the point to grind? I mean, there there uh, isn't even a point to grind because you're by the time you hit that cap for those two activities, you're gonna be at the cap for the for the Grandmaster. So you're, you're not even really grinding. You're just playing the game at that point. Yeah, yeah. And you're, I, not even, you're not even playing it that hard at that point. They yeah. probably could have kept it the same as Destiny 1, honestly. Like, with some mechanics, at least. It is. It I is. miss I miss the power cap for Destiny 1. You're sitting at 400, 400 power uh, light level? Yeah, 400 light level, and... Now you're just grinding for good weapons. You're having fun doing raids and getting frustrated with fucking Oryx not dying in a stupid challenge. Raid. Oh my I god. It, like, it, was, it was it was fun. It was so before fun. they boosted it to 400, it was 320, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Run, you had to run King's Fall in order to get that drop. Mm -hmm. you, that drop you continued and continued until you got that drop because you're stuck at 319. You got you were grinding for that one piece of gear. That's what they should bring back. They shouldn't make it so easy to to increase your power. They should make it a challenge. King's Fall was. I think you said that before, Lion. Is that they listen to the community too much? I think you've said that before. Like people complain too much about yeah. the game. Yeah. 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 There's really yeah. no winning though. Like people will complain if you don't do something. People will complain if you do something, and it's just like. I think that's just life in general. I mean, there's always going to be haters. There's always going to be people who agree with what they do, people who disagree with what they do. Yeah, but so I think at this point... Meeting, they have to find a balance point to please and not please, but do things in their vision in the way they need to do it. People are right, though. For trials, for trials, people, like, everyone's agreeing they should have just kept it the way it was back in D1. Just... Just added that. Uh, going it. going on to the D one, um, <clears throat> the end of D one when there was weekly raids, like bring that back. Mm -hmm. Why can't why yeah, can't they, I get a pinnacle drop out of old yeah, raid? There was, there's no incentive to go back and do the old raids. There's no incentive to just log on the game now anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna get another shader I have already and dismantle it for some. Uh, some bright dust or maybe some glimmer that I'm capped at. During the end of uh, Destiny 1, mm. it was like, here's here's a little thing you guys can work on. Um, also, you can get year one raid gear that can glow. Like, bruh, come bruh, on. Yo, the Crota gear was lit. I'll tell you that right now. The Crota gear was lit. Oh, it was, my God. It was a really, really good armor set. Yo, it was actually, beautiful. You know, I'll just yeah. post it up right here. I'll just post the Pagoda yeah, gear right here. Really, <laughs> really, really fun. <clears throat> it was beautiful. It Man. was. It's like you're going in with a whole new outlook on like, oh, wow, this is what they did. They added this, they added that. You know, that was pretty cool. Now it's just, it's a repetitive process that we're used to. They need something new. They need something to amp up the game entirely. Yo, I just want my kitty kitty cloak in, okay? I want to be a little cat. All right? I want that kitty cloak back in, that glowing cloak, all right? First that place. cloak. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. It's a mixed game, all right? It's, there, it's a work in progress. <laughs> they need to bring that in. Oh, uh, man. Bungie, Bungie, Bungie. So anybody want to go play Fortnite instead? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. We found a game. We're good. Well, I mean, I mean, I used to make Fortnite content. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys oh, knew about that. Right now, it was it was more like it was it was more like more like just montages of me playing, me doing stupid things with my friends, playing Fortnite. Like we didn't care about winning. I mean, yeah, we had like some victory royales and stuff but we were just i was just fucking around we were just making montages i killed a guy with a grenade launcher <laughs> from across if the map not, oh <laughs> no, I cut you off like eight times already if you're not mlg i think the point to play video games is is having it's like you know you're in eighth grade you come home you turn the game on you're drinking mountain dew you're eating chips you know having a good time and your mom really telling you to get off the video game but you can't pause it because it's an online game <laughs> I think it's, it's, 
it's friendship, man. You meet a lot of good people along the way in any game you play. Um, mm-hmm. And then you meet a lot of toxic players. But at the end of the day, it matters on how you feel and, and the experience that you had, not somebody else had. It's what amen, you had. Amen. Amen. Like us in Warzone. Yeah, I get frustrated, but it's still fun. <laughs> uh, when you're under the influence of awesomeness. Um, <laughs> you know, which happens to be quite frequently. But uh, uh, A little PSA. Lion is under the influence. <laughs> I have a great time, you know. I'm hanging out with with a lot of good friends and a lot of good people that I met over, over the years, and uh, you know, I look forward to, you know, jumping on when I can and if I can. And you know, I know you guys are always going to be there to have a good time with me. So it's it's fun. It's a fun time overall, mm-hmm. regardless of what we play: Pokemon Go, uh, Warzone, Destiny, Ooh. Halo, it, whatever it is, Fortnite. It's it's a fun time. Uh, no Fortnite. Maybe- Speaking of no Fortnite, fun. my um my one friend, no, she... <laughs> <laughs> um, no I'm actually thinking I'm going back because my one friend likes to, um, like she loves Fortnite. She loves playing Fortnite just for fun. And she's like, I want to start streaming. And I'm like, well, what do you want to stream? She's like, I want to stream Fortnite or whatever. And I'm like, yo, I got people that will support you. I'll support you. Let's go. If you want, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll hang out and play too. Like, you know? So one of the, one of the, the better things about premeditated is, you know, we, we definitely support mm-hmm. individuals. You know, we support, you know, people trying to come up and, and do their own thing. And that's what we are. We're family. You know, we'll look out for you. We'll help you. You know, we'll get your name out there. Uh, we buy we each other's only fans. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes. Uh, only fans. <laughs> slash <lighting art>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's what we're about man we're a big we family. help each other yeah no no big for sure. family uh, organization here no no mlg plays here you know we're not pros we're our we're people we have hearts we have feelings we look out for one another have fun laugh <sighs> do some dumb dumb things along the way but you know it's all it's all love at the end of the day all love all love every day, man. All love and buying each other's OnlyFans. No, <laughs> Yo, people be making racks of OnlyFans right now, man. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to make my own. It's just gonna be me eating food with my belly out. Just. Mm. <laughs> Should I bring the Vaseline? Oh yeah. Drop <laughs> your belly. So the calendar's coming, Len. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that guy, Chris J. <laughs> Only yeah. fans. Everyone gets a calendar of me just eating food. <laughs> <laughs> For every month, you're going to have something different on your belly. <laughs> it's just me sitting there with like a plate of like, fucking, there's going to be like, there's going to be pho. There's going to be some sushi. There's going to be some. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Bro, there's probably people out there that would. <clears throat> That would definitely pay for that kind of content. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nowadays, uh, you have to do some things that other people wouldn't do just to get, you know, noticed. Yo, this quarantine thing really hitting us hard. <laughs> we talking hard. about making OnlyFans now. <laughs> Cash me in the kitchen, how about that? That's going to be yeah. your motto. We got people out here making food and... <laughs> Oh, this is wild. I hope everyone's doing well, though, during the quarantine. Everyone good, though? Like, like, how you guys feeling? Like, how's how's the facial hair? How's your hair? <laughs> My hair is whack. I don't know if you're talking to me. The haircuts uh... on, are, are on a different spectrum of... I do it myself, but, you know, I'm a little guy, and I can't reach the back of my head that good, so... <laughs> <laughs> spots, man. Yo, lucky for me, I got a I got a brother that, that can cut hair, so I'm just gonna hit him up. I'm, like, Yo, I'm, so, uh... I'm coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm in court. I can't leave. Yeah, no one's allowed to get over here, bro. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, so we've hit our half mark. Uh, I think I'm gonna head over to the washroom. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the washroom. Uh, we get some music. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll I'll cut out and put like all right, all right five minute break or something. Yeah, I got the editing down. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. well, you said I'm gonna go also to the facilities. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll just take like a five, ten minute break or something. So we're back. We're gonna take our mission break here. Come back. Yeah, for sure. Going on. All right, we're good. Okay. That's <laughs> the guess in the <laughs> Had a good break. I ordered bubble tea for me. Everybody, to another <laughs> meditative podcast. <laughs> we just came back from break, bro. What are you? A light, G Fuel, PlayStation, <laughs> Blade, plugins. <laughs> I, w- and I, I wish I had a coat for G Fuel, bro. I'm drinking that stuff like daily. <laughs> I just ordered bubble tea for me and my brother. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not sharing with you guys. <laughs> oh, you had one job. I know, I'm sorry. I was looking forward to that. <laughs> Don't worry guys, once uh, once we all live in a gaming house, I'll definitely order some for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yo, just yo, anybody wants a bubble tea? Yo, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> just down the hall from each other. Yo, someone say bubble tea. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Yo, anybody wants Popeyes? I'm gonna order some right now. <laughs> we got all moved to like a mutual place. We won't even have to order, and we'll be like, "No need. I'll make some myself." <laughs> <laughs> what are we cooking? What are we cooking? What are we cooking? <laughs> oh man! What, what do you? What do you? What man? Yeah, man. <laughs> Are you just talking about like if, if we if we lived in a gaming house and someone's ordering food, all you're gonna hear is, "Anybody want anything?" <laughs> across the hall, bro. I'm gonna have to say, a lot of drugs, like, <laughs> and we'll be like, I'll "Don't order anything. Drugs. I'll cook." <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll teach y'all how to cook so that then we can share the load because I won't get the game at all if I'm just cooking all the time. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I know how to cook. I'm just lazy. We can just like Add water. throw down like, like once a month in the kitchen and just have a big ass free stock. What if we do cooking streams on how not to cook bread or bake bread? <laughs> I can see a lion doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I feel like, like the oh, salt man. shake and the <laughs> just add water. Yeah. Water evaporates. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> exactly. Did you did you activate the yeast at the proper temperature, sir? <laughs> no, it said put it at this much, and now it's all gone. <laughs> better, I swear. I would not. I would not lie to you. Add water. Well, we don't have water. I'm gonna just put some alcohol in there. <laughs> this podcast brought to you by Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Speaking of sponsor, if you guys were to be sponsored by something or someone or a company, what would it now, be? Now, are we talking? Are we talking like any sponsor? Or are we keeping it gaming related? Any sponsor. Any sponsor, okay. Any sponsor, it could be anything. Is like, it could be gaming related. It can be like shoe related, etc. It's like anything. If there was one company you wish you were sponsored by, who? Wait, who would it be? What would it be? Are we gonna start with Aaron? Yeah, we'll start with Lion. We'll start with Lion this time. <laughs> oh, okay. So it would probably be Nike SB or Nike. Ooh, why is that? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm a huge. Huge skateboarding fan. I skated for 18 years. You know, I had sponsors under my belt. Um, but I definitely would do would do Nike. Nike, nice, nice. Yeah, Nike and then Adidas would definitely be a runner up for sure. Mm-hmm. No, not bad, not bad. How about you, Game Freak? You to be sponsored by something? What would be? You know, I'm not really into like uh, let's just say artificial stuff, like valuable stuff, like shoes and all that. I'll, I'll go something similar to like how like people are sponsored the monster and like Red Bull. I'll go with Dr Pepper. <laughs> yeah. This should be different. I like it. Uh, that's 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 pretty. Do- I, I don't know if there's anyone that's actually sponsored by Dr Pepper. Is there? I'm gonna do Diet Thunder. Fun. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Damn, uh, ready, bro. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, you already know. I would have to say G Fuel. 
Hey, media player, what's up, bud? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would definitely, like, I'd be happy with a G Fuel sponsor. You know, I've Even never if... actually tried G Fuel. So, really? so here's, here's what we're gonna do. We, let's, uh, let's, um, so make it so it's like, okay, so there's popular brands out there. And what Game Freak said was, was actually perfect. So you can't do anything popular. Okay. 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 So Nothing popular. Back what I said, because Game Freak said something <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's retracting yeah. everything and picking when it's yeah, not popular out there. Thing. Okay. So <laughs> thing anything. Anything. Dude, I'd probably go like Sonoka. Sonoka? Bro, Sonoka. I can't like, what is that? I mean, I could be like Dollar General or Dollar Tree or something. Yo! <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm sponsored by Dollar Tree. What's up? Oh, man. Yo, I'd be sponsored by like some some uh, boba place. <laughs> yo, yo. Sponsored by a boba uh, bubble tea place? Man, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> That's sponsored by. You gotta be, you gotta pick something out of the box, man. Something crazy. Something something different. Nothing nothing popular. Like a shoelace company. <laughs> shoelace. <laughs> Not the shoe, the shoelace, you know. <laughs> Still thinking that. Give me a minute. Yeah, give me a minute. Let me think about that. I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one on the spot. <laughs> Got top one. Oh, that's funny. Fucking Dr. Pepper. I'm actually gonna look that up right now. I know what spots it's by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Here we go. Oh! There is someone. It's, uh, <laughs> Team uh, TSM. Really? Uh, yeah. Nice. Interesting. I should go apply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, yeah, Team Solo Mid. Yeah, they're all they're sponsored. Damn. Crazy, I dude. didn't even yeah. realize. Crazy. Yeah, TSM. Damn. Okay. 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 Who else is sponsored? Uh, That's crazy. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I would assume like sports and stuff of course but tsm that threw me off i didn't even know they were sponsored by them bro, crazy, bro. uh if you dr pepper sponsorship request yo game freak get on that bro get on that <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's funny that's funny is there anyone bubble tea sponsorship <laughs> I'm sponsored by like a local internet company a what? local That's... internet <laughs> yeah <laughs> get yourself better internet too <laughs> while you're at it think about it oh, man. I get it I get it I get it <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. so whenever when anyone lags you can't they can't blame you <laughs> exactly you always got the best connection. Yo, speaking of my bubble tea, it's on the way now. <laughs> they just finished order. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny, bro. <sighs> Kung Fu Tea Random Bastard Program? What? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I can actually kill for six sponsorships with bubble tea? <laughs> Our sponsor is Bubble Tea Vancouver. Okay, there's someone there's some place in Vancouver. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Uh, okay, enough of that. Oh, man. Okay, okay. So, same question, but with a higher, more popular brand. Obviously, lying with... With the Nikes. <laughs> so, more popular brand? Is that what you're saying? I think he said back to popular. Chris, oh, back, to, back to popular. Yeah, sorry, I got summoned. <laughs> they oh, called me. Good, they, they called me. No, 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 no. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So back, back with sponsorships, but with more, more popular brand you want. So, for example, Lion said Nike. I said G Fuel. Yeah, Game probably. Freak. 
with that. You know, technically, I could keep my answer, but if I choose a different, I would say, I would say monster. <laughs> oh, monster's a good one though. Mm-hmm. How about you, Aaron? Something more popular. Uh, probably G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, G Fuel, I'm gonna need that code, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, fam, I'm just saying. Uh, anybody wants to send me a ton of snow and chug around with me? Wait, Aaron, you bought some? Yeah, when was this? Uh, yesterday. Damn, son. Yo, I'm still... They just released the bubblegum flavor, and I'm waiting for that to get shipped to me. <laughs> um, let me see what I need for it. Hold on. Speaking of... Let's see. I'm gonna go look at my <laughs> shipment order and see where it's at right now. Probably gonna take, like, the same amount of weeks like last time for my, uh... For my buy one, get one stuff. Let's see. It is currently sitting in... Uh, NY, just chilling there, ready to Yo. leave. <laughs> I do not have a G fuel last. G fuel last. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. So, is there anything you guys want to ask to each other, or to me, or anything like that? You know, let's let's end it off with that. Like, let's let's end off this whole thing with asking each other questions. Who wants to go first? Who wants to ask the question first? I do. Okay. Okay, Lion. What questions you so got? What, and... what made you... I know I know you're a streamer. What made you pursue that? What made you get into the whole Twitch scene, essentially? Um, me with the whole Twitch scene? Yes. Or just like streaming in general and making content? Yeah, um, we'll go with making content to, to see if that's easier. What made me want to, like, do this was yeah. more so of, um, I just enjoyed playing so many games. Even if I'm bad at it, for example, I played, I played a couple Resident Evil games and, like, I was horrible at it. I would rage quit and never play it again, but end up going back and playing it just for fun. Um, uh, playing, like... Fortnite when I was out playing like the old Call of Duty games stuff like that and when I found out about like YouTube and wanting to make content like I've always wanted to do it yeah but I just didn't have the guts or the balls to just record myself sitting down and recording it and stuff like that I also didn't have like a computer to edit or anything of like that and share um and so when I had the chance to actually start making content I took that chance and just made random videos, just random montages of me and my friends playing, doing stupid stuff. And then when it came to streaming, I wanted to be more so like, I want people to experience the game with me, you know, like fresh off, whether they played it or not. Like, I want them to experience it with me, experience okay. it again with me while I'm playing, even... Yeah. Or just watching me be stupid with my friends and playing, you know? Just entertainment. Just being entertaining. You know? It's one of those things. <laughs> uh, I just I just like entertaining people. I mean, you've heard me. You've heard me in our party chats. And my stupid Mickey Mouse voice is, Oh! <laughs> Great. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was my question. Okay, okay. That was actually also a question someone asked me on Twitter. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, I have a question for you, Lion. Yes, sir. Why premeditated? So that's actually a really, really good one. <laughs> so... <laughs> I come from a background of always being in a leadership position. Now, you know, with that being said, I founded Rebirth of a Phoenix Destiny Clan, which then changed several times. 
several times. I took a break briefly from the PlayStation 4, which was Rebirth of a Phoenix's main console. Went over to the Xbox, did my thing with my sister at her own clan called Royal to the Nine. Um, I was there for about two and a half years. Came back to PlayStation about a year and a half ago to another name changed, and I was still considered, you know, the founder of the clan that I had went back to, which changed com- completely. Mm-hmm. And so over the course of many months, many months, I had a vision that the vision would be a non-corporate-like family structured where you could come, you could have fun, you know, you could hang out, you can meet new people, you can, you can conversate, sorry, you can conversate, you know, do what you want to do, essentially. And so for the longest time, I kept thinking of names and, and planning out, you know, my escape route. And mm-hmm. so premeditated came to my mind and I thought it was the perfect fit to name you know my family our family and it worked out perfectly if you don't know what premeditated means that's you know that's premeditated (laughs) yeah I get you I get you and uh so how are you feeling about it for so far? Like, we're still small right now, but like, how do you, what, what do you want to see with premeditated? So I say this all the time, and I'm gonna always say it. You'd rather have four quarters in your pocket than a hundred pounds. And you know, with that being said, is I want to have a small, knit community where everybody knows everybody. We're all getting along. There's no drama. Because there's drama everywhere, you know, out of life or out of the video game world, you know, in life, wherever the case may be. It's a non-drama free plan that we we have here. It's a, it's a family. You know, I want to be able to come online, you know, see see some of my greatest friends on there and just overall have a good time. Mm-hmm. I get you. It's a good, it's a good vision. It's a good vision. Oh, yeah, like, but, um... We're out there, you know, we're out there. We're lurking right now, but, uh, you know, it's better to be lurking in the shadows of the action than, you know, not around the action at all. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I agree. My brother coming down right now. No, it's, 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 um, at the door, on the corner. Go get it. Sorry, tell my brother to, 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 to get that boba, because the guy that, He's here now. <laughs> um, I have a question for Aaron. Yes, sir. What um, what made you join Phoenix in the first place? Uh, getting more raids done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I see it. <laughs> Definitely see it. Yours is the bottom one. My bulb is here. Thanks, bro. Oh wait, I ordered it. You're welcome. Well, what's the bottom? What the frick? That's uh strawberry jelly. Is it good? Thank you. Brother making a star yeah, appearance. Get me, get me more raids done and just finding people that I vibed with. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions anyone wants to ask? Maybe to Game Freak or to me, to Lion? I have one for Game Freak, though. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why do you still play with me? <laughs> you knowing I'm horrible at the game oh. of Destiny. Oh. Oh, I don't care who's horrible at the game. It's just... I'm... Like, although, like, I, yeah, it sounds very fucking, like, consider, like, I'm the best out of my friends anyway, so I'm already used to trash players. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that's all I am to you, a trash player? No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> nah, but we always fuck around trying to be who's the best, but usually I'm on top, and then it's become a <clears throat> recurring joke between my cousins. The reason I'm good is just because I'm me. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like it doesn't None. matter what game. I usually pick up games really fast. That's why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, how can you even put up with me throughout all our trials matches, man? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's some good bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> Okay, English. What is that? <laughs> okay. So, to end off our first ever podcast with premeditated and with Aaron, Game Freak, and Lion, I have a question that someone posted into my Discord. I I, I wasn't gonna do it. Like I wasn't gonna share it. Actually, I have two. Uh. One of them is from definitely not Eric, I swear, on my Discord server. Why are you so goddamn cute, though? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the questions asked. So, uh, yeah, anyone, uh, anybody want to answer that question? I didn't hear the question, so what was the question? <laughs> the question was, why are you so goddamn cute, though? <laughs> well... Here's my name number. Have you met Chris? <laughs> Lion? Oh, his mic is muted. That's okay. I'm here. <laughs> Are we ending? Are we wrapping up? We're wrapping up with two questions. Two questions. We're wrapping up with two questions. Let's hit mm-hmm. those two questions. The first question is... Why are you so goddamn cute, though? <laughs> why am I so cute? That's a that's a really really good question to ask. Why am I so cute? Uh, I would say it's the alcohol, but I'd lie. <laughs> At least, like, you might think you drink too much and you go on the mirror and you're like, oh, this guy is cute. But uh, yeah, that's a good question, man. I was blessed. Blessed. We're all blessed. We're, we're, we're all, we're, we all cute, though. You know, we all cute, yeah, though. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we all you cute. Know, I, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to make you guys, you know, be like, oh, you know, but you guys are all, all gorgeous <clears throat> looking gentlemen. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Mm. And this one, this last one, I wasn't going to ask this one, but it's for shits and giggles. Oh, okay, so here it is. You ready? Mm-hmm. Hit it. Wait, I'm trying to look for it. How do you okay. <laughs> here it is. All right, you guys ready? This is a very serious question. We are very, very prepared to answer this question. Tits or ass? <laughs> Thank you, Land Daddy, and my Discord server for asking that question. <laughs> Bro, bro, I'm a butt guy. <laughs> I'm a butt guy, bro. Lion, okay. I'm sure okay. they can pick it up. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Eric, how about you? I'm on that page. Okay, okay. Game Freak. <laughs> oh, honey, I dropped my wallet. Do you mind picking it up? <laughs> Damn. I can't choose between between the both. I'm not going to lie to you. I like a little both. You know, sometimes I like sleeping on the top. Next thing you know, I'm like just snuggling that butt while I'm sleeping, you know? I can't decide, bro. I can't decide. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. Okay, fine. The real serious question is <clears throat> I lost that one again. God damn it, where'd it go? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not prepared, bro. I forgot to write these all down. Um this goes back to one of the first questions we did, but we can't choose the same answer. Okay, what's one game you really enjoyed when you started gaming? So it doesn't have to be the very first game you played, but it's like what is the one game you truly, truly enjoyed playing when you started gaming? This was from what I cannot read his name. Uh, Kwani Tosh and my Discord server. Mm-hmm. 
I can start it off. Yeah, go for it. So, the one game I truly loved playing, I'm not going to say Spider-Man, I promise, <laughs> was the Saints Row franchise 1 and 2. Not 3 or 4. 1 and 2. Saints Row 1 and 2. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but it was... It was different, you know? And I really liked the color purple. As much as my whole setup has like red and black, but purple was my favorite color. And I guess when I first played Saints Row, it was like, yo, I can get purple everything. Yo, purple car, purple, <laughs> purple <laughs> clothing. Yo, I just purple everything, you know? Feel that. <clears throat> How about you, Aaron? What game did you really enjoy when you started gaming? I really enjoyed, like, N64, like, James Bond-style game. Mm, mm-hmm. I think it was No World for Tomorrow or something like that. I think so. <laughs> that was... That was, uh, that was a good one. <clears throat> How about you, Game Freak? Uh, I'm trying to think. From what I knew, like, I enjoyed gaming with maybe Star. <clears throat> was from the Nintendo 64. And I'm trying to think. The game I used to play the most because, like, for whatever reason, of course I was little, and very difficult for me was, uh, Rayman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rayman, bro. That's classic. Uh, how about you, Lion? I'll finish it off with Lion. Give him a couple seconds. <laughs> Lion is doing great. <laughs> that wasn't the question. <laughs> Sorry, but Lion's under the influence of awesomeness. I know. I'm not. The question was... What game did you enjoy the most when you started gaming? Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. <laughs> straight out yeah. the game, 2007. Straight out, straight out. That was the, that was like one of the. I actually, I actually really, really enjoyed Skate too. Skate, not oh. Skate two. Skate. Ooh, Ooh Skate. That's Ooh. A really good game. Yeah. Really fun. Skate was. Really- Yo, you That's... can you can get Skate XL, I think, or whatever it's called on uh, Steam right now. Maybe some classic Pac-Man, you know, none like Yo, much. Pac-Man movies. all day. And then like Ste- Steep just like couldn't even compare to the level that Skate was on. Like, yeah, Skate you know, has just gotten like a whole nother level, dude. Speaking of Steep, as in like a snow the snowboarding game, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to play, I don't know if you guys heard of it, went on Xbox, SSX Tricky, <laughs> the snowboarding game. If any of you have heard of it. I think I played it on N64. It, it was such a ridiculous snowboarding game. Like, it wasn't even real snowboarding, but it was so ridiculous and fun. It's just basically the concept is just snowboarding down the hill, racing against, like, other people. But at the same time, to get the most speed is that you have to do tricks. But the tricks were not your typical snowboarding tricks. They were like as if you had a skateboard. And <laughs> very I ridiculous. think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I'm like trying to remember. I was like, what? Is he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. All right. Well, that is going to be it for our podcast. Thank you guys. First of all, we don't even have a name for it. We'll figure it out. I'll probably put it in the title. I don't know. <laughs> thank, you guys for, thank you guys for coming by and hanging out and talking. Um, check out Lionheart on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I don't know if you guys got anything in there for your well, social I will media. Get my stuff thrown. Oh, no, I don't really got social, but if I <laughs> decided to stream on Twitch, <laughs> <laughs> check him out there. I mean, just don't give him a follow. He's on there. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> <laughs> he follows I'll me, so it's okay. It. Aaron's just gonna do the. Aaron's gonna need a nickname. <laughs> he's, just, mm-hmm. he's just Aaron. <laughs> just me. Okay, and if you guys reach at the yeah. end of this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, 
follow us on Twitch. Subscribe to me on Twitch. We hit affiliate, so I'm happy about that. Uh, next goal is trying to get partner. Um, thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next podcast.